you can simply navigate again to that plus sign in the top right hand corner and add a project that way. Looking at that little P, you can also press Shift P on your project window on your keyboard and that will open an option to create a new project from scratch or from a template. Now you may already have some templates or you may want to create one. So you can select Manage Templates and create a template. Perhaps all of your clients for one particular line of business have a similar outline. Templates are a great way to save time and keep consistency. Alternatively, you can click into an existing project and simply duplicate it. You still have the option to use our CSV file. What you're gonna do is you're gonna select again, import, and you're gonna download this project template, complete the core fields and pop it back in using this upload CSV file. Lastly, we also have a number of integrations that are managed by the account owner that can also help to bring in mass projects and other types of data. For the time being, let's go ahead and manually add a project. We're gonna select new project. Now you can, however, just like the people profile, complete certain fields within this, this profile here. However, the more data you put into Float, as we said before, the more data you're gonna get back. So let's call this project Facebook. Facebook branding. Now we'll not assign them to Google, but to Facebook, a new client, client I'm adding. We'll leave the color as is, that's pretty fitting. Add any notes, even if I wanna call out a colleague of mine, Brittany, please ensure project details are correct. This will send a notification to Brittany for when she logs in next. I'm gonna call this May 23, add a tag there because this is when the project is due to launch, just to give myself a little notice. And I'm going to say that it is London because this is for the Facebook branding London office. Now you do have some options. You can say the project is billable, non-billable or a combination. You can go ahead and set the budget for the sake of this demo. Let's say hours by project and we're going to say 600 hours. Then we're going to add the team over. I'm going to add Brittany and Quang. Milestones, milestones in float are key dates you wanna be aware of that you're not allocating out individually, but they have visibility across the entire platform. So we'll say maybe there's a client on site on the Thursday here. We'll add that milestone and the launch we talked about was in May. So let's add a nice launch date, maybe the 15th, we'll add that as well. Now, tasks are what you're physically allocating out. So remember that this is a billable project, tentative. I'm gonna add some admin level work and I'm gonna mark that task as non-billable. I'm gonna add some branding, scoping, and review. Now, I can go ahead and lock this task list, but if I want less, more flexibility with the labels and for other people on the team to be able to create additional task labels, I will not lock that task list. So we'll go ahead and we'll create that project. And you can see now, just like our friend Quang was in our schedule, that project is now gonna be in our project plan.